So welcome back. And I thought, what better time and what better way with a Facebook Live using this wonderful program I have called eCam to share some information from one of my most recent podcasts. And clearly, the, the title of the, the podcast was, What Are You Focused On? Is it propelling you to where you want to go? And uh, a number of you have actually listened to the podcast this week. But for those of you that, that have not had the opportunity, I, I certainly want to ask you to go to uh, iTunes and go to the Bermuda Bob Show, and you will find all my podcasts. But for the sake of uh, this exercise this evening, I will actually post the link to that podcast so that you can go and listen to it at, uh, at your leisure. But the first thing I want to ask you is, what are you focused on? Is it propelling you to where you want to go? You know, I'm looking at the mirror, in the mirror, and there's somebody looking back at me. Actually, there's three, me, myself, and I, always looking back at me. And I have to ask myself, what am I indeed focused on? Most of us know where we're supposed to be going, where we're supposed to be heading. But too often, we, we get distracted. Um, where, where are you supposed to be going? Do you know where you're going to? You know, there's a, there's a whole song out there. Do you know where you're going to? You know, I, I, could, I could do all that. But there's some key words that I want to share with you. The first one, obviously, is distraction. Adversaries. Self-absorption. Loss of God's presence. Pursuit of pleasure and emptiness. And all too often we come under that influence of distractions as well as distractors. There may be people in your very house where you're living who are distractions to you getting to that location that you're trying to get to. There may be a whole bunch of distractors around you. Maybe the TV's on, maybe the radio's playing. Maybe, uh, depending upon where you live, there's a lot of noise coming through the window. I don't know if you can hear it from here. Uh, I do have my window open over there, and it is now nighttime in Bermuda. So you might be able to hear the tree frogs uh, emanating through, through the window. But we also get distracted by shiny objects. Those things that attract us. It could be an Apple Watch. It could be a brand new iPhone that you're looking to get. You know, the, the iPhone 11 is out and um, everybody's going to want to have one. It could be a book you're reading. It's, there's so many shiny objects out there. Is it that new car that you want to get that you can't yet afford? Is that a distraction? Is that a distractor? Um, next, uh, I, I want to go, how often do you get self-absorbed? To that point where it begins to consume you. And I like to say that we're not just on a journey to get to a destination. In fact, some of us don't know that we're even on a journey. We think we've gotten to that destination and oh my gosh, we've arrived. I like to think that we're on a journey of destinations. And that getting to that destination is the indicator and the, the wherewithal to help us to then begin to go on to that next destination and that next destination. Because why do you want to get stagnant in, in, in one place? Um, next, there's fear. That wonderful acronym, FEAR. F-E-A-R. False evidence appearing real. How many things out there are just appearing to you to be real and are causing you to be distracted or they cause you to have distractors? And, and lastly, are you dealing with the grand overall designer, G-O-D? Now, I don't promote religion on my podcasts or on my Facebook Lives. Obviously, I'm a Christian, but... That doesn't mean that I don't promote the other religions. In fact, I don't promote any religions. I just say there is a grand overall designer out there. Now, you can choose to believe, but then that's where 
That's where I say loss of God's presence. Do you take the time to just be quiet and let it just whisper into you? You'll get the message. But if you're being too busy being distracted and having distract doors around you, you're not going to hear the message. Notice I'm whispering. Of course, I could be shouting, but that's not what this is all about. And then, for some of us, we have this thing called the gremlin from 30,000 feet. Uh, I, I don't know how many of you have ever seen that Twilight Zone uh, show or that Twilight Zone movie, but, or maybe even the Bugs Bunny cartoon where the gremlin is there trying to destroy the airplane and cause it to crash. Do you have a gremlin on your shoulder or maybe he's on this shoulder or maybe you've got one of each on both shoulders and just filling you up with distract doors and distract shuns. The gremlin is there to cause you to crash and burn. The grand overall designer is there to help you if you've already crashed and burned to rise up out of the fire as a new phoenix. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to my podcast, I'm going to post it down below. But it'd be, it'd be something good for you to listen to. And, and as I say, there's like 82 of them in the Bermuda Bob Show on iTunes. And there are a myriad of topics in there. And I'm told that they're pretty good and pretty entertaining. So I'm going to play one last video for you before I go. And um, it's kind of going to be a message to some of you. It's not necessarily going to be for all of you, but I don't want to say that so you do turn this thing off right now. It's something you want to hear. It's not a shiny object. It's not a distractor. It's not a distraction. It's something that you need to listen to. Hello everybody, this is Bermuda Bob, your transformational leadership expert. I'm coming to you from the World Marriott here in Orlando. And as you can see, there are about 130 flags behind me representing all the different nations that John Maxwell team covers. We're here with about a thousand people who have just been certified as new teachers, trainers and coaches with the inception of wanting to bring a difference to people back home. If you want to help make a difference where you are, contact me. I would love to help you because that is what we do. Bermuda Bob, Transformation Leadership Expert. And by the way, since the time of uh, the making of that video, we've grown f to more than 140 countries, and there's a heck of a lot more flags. In fact, so many that they had to take them off the stage and, and literally line the room with them. That's uh, how many flags. But let that just be a message to those of you out there who are open and looking, and that you're looking to continue on your journey of destinations. This may be for you. If you want to reach out to me, of course, this is on a Facebook thing, so you only have to put a comment down below and I'll, I'll get back to you. But if you want to send me an email, you can either contact me at bermudabob at me, M-E dot com, or intentionalgrowth at iCloud dot com. So until next time, go ahead and click below, listen to my podcast, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Until then, make it a great one. God bless.